Alright, so I just personally uh, finished cutting the, the side pieces that go in here. Uh, like I said before, you're going to get a piece of cardboard. You're going to have the hood upside down and you're just going to line it up to the bottom and draw out. It depends on how like low you want this, how high. So I had it to about like this length. So obviously this is going to go in there. It's going to block it off like that. And then once you tack it from the inside, I think uh, the way I'm going to start, I'm going to kind of like slant this a little bit. And I'm going to just like tack weld it. And then on the inside, I'm going to fully weld through. And then just kind of uh, body fill over it so that way I won't have to make my own uh, slants and it's going to be uneven. So this is going to be a lot easier. I already cut 16 pieces of, uh, of metal. 16 of these. And uh, they're all the same height, same length, so they can all match up. And they can all be the same amount of, uh, of sunkenness, basically. So right now that I'm still in the process of cutting stuff, I'm gonna go and start on this project. This is my bumper for my Genesis. Focus on welding, uh, or at least tack welding these in. So that way tomorrow on the inside, I can actually weld all the way through. So for now, I'm just gonna put this hood back up and just tack weld it from the outside. Weld it from the inside tomorrow, or maybe Monday, and then finish body filling there just to make it look like it's all one piece. Sick. By the way, Calvin, if you're watching this video, why would you give me such a fucking piece of shit of a hood? But I gotta make it work, so. Sick. So this is what it would basically look like after it's been welded. Yeah, it's not the prettiest weld. I completely suck at welding, so this is just the best I can get it. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna go down and grind it down so everything can be smooth right here and smooth down here. And just that body filler and just kind of smooth everything out and make it look nice and you have yourself your vented hoods. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow when I go down and start grinding all the little pieces to make everything look nice and pretty. Now that most of your welds are done, well your welds should be done by now, obviously the outside I just tacked them, it's really ugly but on the inside I kind of tacked all the way through on all of them. And these are primed because I did these uh, before and then I did these after because I still had to cut a big piece. So I uh, finished cutting over here, weld these on together, it's still kind of hot right now so I'm going to let that dry up a little bit. I'm going to go back with my grinder and I'm going to start grinding all these down to make it smooth in here, smooth in here. It's so well in here too, and then I'm gonna start bonding and getting it ready to smooth everything out and paint. All right, so I started grinding everything down. Uh, you guys, grinded all of this down, all of this right here, all around. I still gotta go and just go over these small little pieces just to get all these little balls out the way. But most likely, when you bond over, it's gonna cover all that up anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I'll show you guys how. <clears throat> I'll show you guys the way I mix the Mondo and how I add it and then whenever it dries up I'll show you guys how to sand it down and everything. I use the Bondo from AutoZone. It comes with a hardener creamer thingy. So you're just going to get a piece of paper. With, they sell like a certain amount of uh, like, a, like an actual product that is like special paper for it. But um, I use whatever paper I can find like off of a book. So. Um, you get the paper, you add like a big slab of Bondo, you add a little bit of the hardener, you just mix it around. Don't get nothing to actually swirl it in because that's going to create bubbles inside the actual Bondo. So you're going to you're gonna have to squeeze and grind over it all around, just kind of like mix it in like with this piece. So um, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. And I'm going to start bonding over all these pieces and then just wait till the next day so I can start sanding it and giving it its, uh, its little design. All right, so just like I said, um, here's a piece of paper. You're just gonna open up your sandal bundle. You're gonna get a little plastic glued in little stick. Get your bondo out. Lay it over. More of it. Put it down, just like that. Make sure to close it back up all the time or else it's going to get extremely hard. Um, always have a piece of paper to leave your stick down because it will make a mess. Uh, make sure this is closed. And 
now you're gonna get your hardener. You're using the lead with a straight line to it, just like that. Just like I said, you don't need that much. That's how much I'm using. Now you're just gonna get your little piece, just scrape it over, pick it up, scrape it, mix it. So this is what I hate about paper, but um, so you gotta deal with what you got sometimes. That, pick it back up, move it back down, pick it back up, move it back down, pick it up. Just keep doing the same thing over and over until it starts turning pink and you don't see no deep red spots. But you gotta work with this fast or else it'll get hard really quick and you're just gonna just go to waste. So. so just like that, it's a pink. And now you're just gonna move it over. Do the best I can. Just like that, and then you're just gonna go over and start sanding it whenever it's dried up, and you'll get its little figure, and you'll be good to go. So this is basically what it ends up looking like after all the bondo. It seems like a lot, but I have, I have to use a, a good amount in order to get this like slanted shape, and in order to go over all the little bumps like I was saying. So no bumps are showing. So when I start sanding it, obviously I'm gonna start in here, kind of blend it in, blend all this in. And once all this is smooth, I'm gonna go by hand and get all this in to make this straight and just finish it off. It should probably take like about a day or two to finish all that up, so. Um, I did uh, delete the windshield wiper squirter thingy, so I cut under it, I put a piece of tape under it and just bonded over, and now that's covered up. <clears throat> Same thing with that one. And now once I finish this and paint it, uh, we're gonna get his car and then cut the hood latches where they should be at. That's gonna be sick. So this is basically what gonna look like. It looks like a big mess, but It'll look a lot better when it's done. So as far as sanding, uh, this is what I mean. After all the bondo work, you start sanding through these edges, make everything a lot smoother. That way you won't feel none of this. Then you start giving it its little slant in here. I might give it a little more of an angle right here because this one is a little more angled out than this one. This one's just like that one as well with this one. Obviously it's still a little bit of rough in here, so since I can't fit the machine in here, I just go by hand, get in there as well over here. I still gotta go on this whole side. I'm just edging out these uh, the outside pieces first, and I'm gonna go in to the corners, get the slant going, and then just finish it off. Um, <clears throat> this is basically a quick little finish. I still gotta go over and fix the little holes like that. So this is basically the side that's already done. I gotta go over and kind of just give this a little bit more of a of a, of a finish right there. Go over these small little pinholes and just like finish all that off and this whole side will be done this is how the hood should look like and then I'm gonna just finish this off and then just go on with that and we'll start with the paint soon I'm thinking about painting today but it's already getting kind of dark and it might rain so probably not the best time to paint so alright so it got late on me pretty quick but um I'm gonna go over this right now. This is basically the finished uh, piece of this side. Try to get as best as possible. So right now when I primer it, I'm gonna notice if I miss any spots or if there's any little pinholes that I gotta go over and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just go and start primering it. This is just the only primer I had. It's white. I don't like white primer, but it does the job. So let's just get this going. Just obviously, you gotta go through everything so that way you can see if there's uh, the blending on it, if it's good or not, and that uh, just gave me a little insight if I need to go over it or not. So it's just going to be the first pass of primer, get a nice good layer on it. It's not too thick either because it's going to make it extremely wet and it won't show anything, so just going to go over everything, make sure everything's good, go around with this and just let this dry up, and you go over with the second pass and make sure everything's good. I already blended in the 
the windshield wiper squirters, so that came out pretty good. Obviously, I still gotta go through the entire head and sand it because if I do this, you see how it's like really like ugly and nasty. So, I'm gonna go over that right now. Making, going over everything, making sure everything's good. Everything is looking good. So. Making sure it's all good. So you got this whole side, then you got this side. So, I see you do your vented hoods. 